Having a consistent look for my buttons across all of my website pages has been a little bit painful for me until I discovered this hidden feature inside the cadence blocks which you can use to have a consistent look for all of your buttons and also for the rest of the blocks provided by cadence blocks. But I'm going to show you this. I'm going to implement this just for the buttons in this quick video. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say that I want to add a button just down below this a part of the page. Let's say this is a hero section. So let me add a button here. Let me choose the text. Click add after. And let's choose the advanced button a block. And let's say that I want to make this like text. Click here. Here. Um, I want to make this large. And for the style, I want to change the background to be something, let's say, red, for example. Let's, and let's fix, this, let's fix this here. And let's say that I want to add a um, shadow also. I want to add a shadow here. And also for the, um, for the style, for the typography, I want to make the text large. And I want to add an icon text, so, uh, an icon here. Let's say I like to always use this icon here. So let's say this is my button I like to use this button across all of my website pages so the the very easy way or actually i used to do this i just copy the the, the button add it to whatever section i want until i discovered this hidden feature inside cadence blocks so uh, so this is a button that i like to use across all of my website pages i just go to the advanced tab and for the black defaults i would choose save as default so this means that I'm, I'm choosing this, the design of this button to be the default look and feel of my buttons across all of my website pages. So, uh, and this, this message means that um, this default setting or this default design will be applied for the buttons in the future. When you create a new button in the future, this default setting will be applied, but not the old buttons that you already have inside your website pages. I will choose OK. So I just lose, I choose OK now. So let's try to add a new button here. So let's say this is click here. Let's add a new button again. You'll find now the same style has been implemented or applied in this new button. I just need to add my um, text. Let's say here, here. Let's say click here. So this is it. Now let me add, try to add something from the design library. Let's say click the design library here. And let's choose a hero section. And let's, you know, let's download, let's download this part. So let's download this one and see how it looks like. So now this part has a button here. So let's delete this button and add a button here, a new button here. Let's add a button. So let's choose an advanced button. So let's choose a button. Let's say button. This is the button. And now again, I have the same style of my button. Of course, you can implement the default block settings if you are using even um, info boxes headlines um accordions and anything you uh, provided by any block provided by the cadence blocks i think this feature will make your life easier when you use it when you are using the cadence blocks to design your website pages so hopefully you find this video helpful if you like it please give me a thumbs up and also please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create so many videos about how you can use cadence blocks now thank you so much and see you in the next video